Hey guys, so those potato farls. The thing is, I don't know even know what the thing is. It was mashed potato fried in a pan, but I saw that I saved two more recipes, two more for farls on my phone, and I got them off Facebook. That's what I know. And one is called Northern Ireland Farl Soda Bread, four and a half stars. And the other one, Traditional Northern Irish Soda Farls, Tray Bakes and more. One review, one star. So let's try that one today. And there's no instruction. I just saved the ingredients. And the only thing I did was 10 ounce calculate to 280 grams of flour and one FL was FL fluid ounces my European head couldn't think of that anyway let's let's do it so I think I'm going to mix our dry ingredients first, so 280 grams of flour. Two hundred and oh too much. I got a spoon. Eighty four, eighty three, eighty one. What are we? Are you going to be the... Yeah, I'm going to be like that. 280. Put this aside. Then put it on zero. One teaspoon of baking soda. I think this package is the same in every country. So, where's my tea? Teaspoon, and I think it's going to be a level one. So, in, and then I had to go out this morning and went to the, came, walk past the nature shop because that's the only store I think I can get this. And in Dutch, it's Weinstein Puder. So cream of tartar, I think. I think it's the same. Super food, raw food. It's amazing. Hundred percent bio. So see new. And I need a half a teaspoon, so let's grab that real quick. One half, I think leveled off again, that's in there, then we put this aside, and let's throw this away, then we need salt, a I think I leveled. It says one teaspoon, so a teaspoon salt always looks a lot to me, but that's in. And then a teaspoon of sugar leveled up. That's all the dry ingredients from this recipe. Let's give this a mix. And then we need some buttermilk. 8 fluid ounces, 230 milliliters. Oh, 
the, the new kind of lid and I have buttermilk everywhere. Anyway, I milliliters, 230. Let me shake this for a moment above the sink. I bought it a few days ago, so I think, yeah, that looks more. 200, 21, 27, 30, fridge, so I don't think I want to go in with my hands at first, but yeah, I'm going to preheat right now this pan because I made a potato for in this and this is still the best thing I have I think and then I think I post the first one on Monday this one on Wednesday and then on Friday you get the other one and I'm not going to compare them like I did the barn work oh and I wanted to do Half and half. Half first and then see how far I got me. And then the other half. If it's not too sticky. Anyway, it's in. I think it will be okay. Well, I was talking about um, that I'm not going to do a separate tasting video. Because potato, I tried, as I said, though, to the potato forms. I said I was going to um, put the half in the, in the fridge and then try to make it on Friday. And when I wanted to try and make them, it was like a potato soup. So, you, that kind of mess, you can't store it. And if, I think or I needed to add more flour again but so my advice is if you're going to make potato rolls make the whole batch or divide the batch into if you want less this feels the same like a potato mash for us but it's it's Less potato or flour, it's too sticky to my preference, but maybe it has to be that sticky. And I realize that I, I'm always talking about word learning, but I never look up a video of somebody telling me how to do, and based. The only reason I can give for that is because I want to try it first, see what I think of it before anybody else has said something. So maybe after I have done these three recipes, I will look this up. So maybe if you have a better recipe for me. I'll try it. Let me know. Do I need more flour? I think. Let's put this a bit lower. And I'm not sure if I should fry this in a dry pan. Do I divide this into also? I don't think so. I think it's, we don't have enough for eight. What? Let's see how far. I think I'm going to grab a little bit butter out of the fridge. After I clean my hands.
Great. Let's do it. If I can get it off my phone. Let's clean up. <laughs> okay. I forgot for a moment that there is a rising thing in it, in this. That's the vitamin four. I all always were here that they are the vitamin four. Or am I too late for do that. Wait. I th oh. I'm t I think I'm a bit too late to So maybe I keep the two halves. <laughs> anyway, after doing this again. Well, I cleaned up and then the doorbell rang, so I was a bit too late with dividing them, but it doesn't matter. It's for the looks, right? Taste is the same. But that's what I wanted to say was my phone. I looked up farl because we have the potato farl and now we have this and there's no potato in this. So I got a bit confused. So let me see. And I got, of course, more recipes. <coughs> but let's read the Wikipedia page, okay? A floral is any of various quadrants shaped flatbreads and cakes, traditionally made cutting in around, cutting around into four pieces. In also, the term generally refers to soda bread, soda falls, and less commonly potato bread, potato falls which are also ingredients of an Ulster fry. So, yeah. <coughs> so, I, I think we should divide them in four, but I think I'm going to flip them over first. Oh, look at that! That looks so much different than the potato ones. Oh, but that was uncooked flour. No. So here's the thing. Let me get a shredded knife and then go like this. So I hope, hopefully, I can go like this. And then it's, well, I want to say four, but this is three. I know I had to go to four. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. But these ones are so much more my thing, I think. The mashed potatoes. Let me just have mashed potatoes as they are. Oh, this is not going to. Yeah. Four. Okay. Now we can see in the inside and that. I'm going to give them a moment on this side too, on the lower setting on my stove, because we want them completely cooked. Because if I, look, you can see the line that's not cooked yet. So let's let's rest them for a moment. Okay, I think they're pretty done. They look 
done. So I'm going to give them a little bit of a rest to cool down so I can cut them. And then we'll, or let, let's cut open one to see if they're really done. And then decide how to move on. I think I'm going to give them a little rest so I can touch them. I feel like they're done. And then I do not have jam or jelly or, but I've got some cheese, you know, Dutch. And I've got some off brand hazelnut paste. So I'm going to give it a few minutes and then we'll be back. And I, I don't even have the good butter. Anyway, um, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, let's give these a try. I've got some, like I said, I don't have the good butter. I've got one of this. Just with a bit of butter first to get the idea. This is what I expected with the previous fall recipe, but with potato in it. Yeah, I like this. And it was it's very easy. And I don't know if I may say this, but it's a bit like homemade flatbread. It's like knead the dough, put it in a pan, done. So I slice some of my cheeses. Yeah. This is something I can make often. The potato ones too, but yeah, it's different. Yeah, I, I like this one. Let me try it with something sweet. So. I think I like it better with cheese. But... Mm. Not bad. But. Boom. Oh, that was a tough one. I don't think the one person who gave this recipe a one star is fair, but I'm not an expert on forals, so let me know if if my, I don't know, four out of five stars is better than her one or his one star. But the potatoes I had to throw away, that was not good anymore. Uh, but these are all gone by tomorrow, I think. So, I'll see you, hopefully, in the next fall, fall video. Say that word. Faster for real times. Thanks for watching. Bye.